Hey G Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, we got a very cool Apple product right here that's called a Magic Trackpad. And pretty much what it is, is literally just a trackpad that you guys can use like a mouse. Instead of using the one that's actually built in onto the laptop, you guys can use that option, uh, which is really cool. You guys can pretty much do the same thing that's on a trackpad, but on here, which is a separate one that you can actually plug on. Or actually not plug on because you use Bluetooth to connect it onto it. But I'll show you guys all that in a second. But first thing first, let me actually show you guys one more thing before we unbox it. So if you guys look in the back of the box, it shows you guys all the different functionalities of how to use the trackpad and what each one does. So as you can see right here, it's a click and drag, two finger scroll, right click, rotate, pinch and zoom, uh, forward, backwards, using Safari uh, photos, switching through applications, active uh, mission control, show launch pad and show desktop. So all of that is on here. So you guys remember on how to do it on the actual laptop itself on the Mac. The same thing is literally on here, but just a separate type of uh, trackpad or mouse that you can use on top of whatever you guys already have already, which is really cool. So before we talk more about the product, let's actually unbox it and show you guys what comes inside the package first, and then we'll go through the test and come back and talk about the product. So let's open it up first and show you guys the package. So first thing you see inside when you open the package is the trackpad itself, which is really nice. When you remove that part, we have this compartment right here. Remove that compartment. We have a bunch of like papers in here, which is like instruction guide on how to set a product, how to use it, uh, to give you some warranty card and also some other instruction that you guys can use to uh, power the device or any kind of like safety concerns, warranty and all that good stuff. Now let me show you guys the trackpad itself before we test it out. So here we have the trackpad, you guys can see very nice little design. That's what it looks like on the side. Um, you guys have this option right here where you can actually open up and put the battery uh, in. And then if you guys look on this side, we have a power on and off switch. So that's how you guys turn off and on the device before you guys can pair it on. Here's a trackpad right here. So on the back right here, you guys can see there's a couple of grips right here to help it uh, prevent from slipping and whatnot when you guys are actually using it, which is really nice and really important because you guys are using your fingers a lot on here, then you wanna make sure it doesn't move. So the only way for us to actually find out when it actually works and when it's actually worth it is to test it out. So let me go do the test right now and show you guys how it works and all that good stuff first. All right guys, so here we have the magic trackpad where you give it a test and see when it actually works. So just press it down and you actually see a light. So that's the light that comes on and that's how you know it's on and ready to be paired. So you guys can see this smaller compartment right here. If you guys can twist it to open it, you guys can put double A batteries in here. So you just two double A batteries in here and then it works. And you guys can pretty much use it as a regular trackpad like the one they actually have on the laptop, but this one will be on the side so you can use it on the side like a regular mouse in a way. So if you guys like using trackpad, then this is perfect. But that's pretty much everything that's on this product. Let's actually test it out now. All right, so since this trackpad is on right now, we're gonna pair it up and see when it actually pairs onto the Bluetooth device. So let's do that first. All right, so right now I'm actually using it from the trackpad right here, if you guys can see. It actually feels really nice. It feels exactly like using one of these that's built onto the MacBook Pro that I have here. Uh, but this one's like a mouse on the side, so you guys won't actually have to keep touching it here. You guys can touch it on here. So if you guys want that option, then you guys can do that as well. Pretty much all the functionality that's on this trackpad is literally the same as on here. So if you guys want to have this on the side, it's a really cool device to have in that case. But if you guys don't even like using trackpad in general, then obviously don't buy a trackpad like this. Like for me, honestly, this is my favorite one that I've been using. I got really hooked into this. It feels really comfortable and kind of protects your wrist. So that way you won't hurt your wrist and everything. So this is my favorite mouse. But if you guys are someone who likes using trackpad, then definitely get one of these. All the controls on here is pretty much the same, like the double fingers, the swiping, everything that's literally the same thing that's on a MacBook Pro or any MacBooks in general. So it's a sample on the YouTube page right here, if you guys can see. I'm gonna use my trackpad, like two fingers to swipe up and down to show you guys when that actually works or not. So right here is my two fingers on the trackpad. So you guys can see, you guys can zoom in and out as well. Same thing for the MacBook Pro, you guys can do the same thing if you guys can see right here. But then I noticed that if you guys are using trackpad, it's actually much more sensitive to it. So it's actually easy to do it on the trackpad that is on here than on here. Right now I haven't even removed this, um, this little padding for the trackpad yet. And it actually senses my finger really, really well. Like if you guys can see the screen right now, that's directly from this trackpad. It is so much easier than using here, but both of them works. If you guys want to save money, then just stick to the trackpad right here. But if you guys want 
just be extra, get this, then obviously get this. But it really depends on you at the end of the day, which one you guys prefer more and what works better for you guys to be more productive. All right, welcome back guys. So now that you guys saw the test of the product and how to connect it and all that good stuff and how well it works, you guys can see that it actually works really well. And the thing about I noticed about this one, if you guys saw my video, is the fact that when you guys actually use the trackpad, so it actually connects better and works better than the actual trackpad itself. So like when you guys are zooming in or like using different controls, like I didn't even take off like the slip or the protection for the actual trackpad itself and it was much more sensitive. But for me, honestly, when it comes down to the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not, um, this product costs $95 or $96, depending if you guys have tax and whatever, it'd probably be up to $100. So for me, honestly, I had to say that it wouldn't be worth it for me because I don't like the controls of having a trackpad like that because I don't even use the trackpad that's on the actual MacBook itself uh, that often anyway, because I have my own mouse to use, like I showed in the video. And obviously there's a huge price difference comparing like a mouse to a trackpad because a mouse can be like 10 to $50 or whatever you guys want to use it could be even more than fifty dollars but it usually ranges around from ten to uh fifty dollars depending on the quality of the mouse and what kind of mouse you guys buy uh and this trackpad is like double that so that's one thing to consider as well but other than that that's pretty much it for the little unboxing testing and feedback of the product hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did then make sure to subscribe like and comment down below and as always make sure to stay positive be you and i'll see you guys in the next episode of is it worth it peace and then for today's G-Squad fan shout out day, we have...